out most recyclable um, or non-recyclable, sorry, we took out most recyclable products. Yogurt cups, for example, while they are recyclable in an industrial setting, are not recyclable in a national consumer setting. So that's why you see them in the, in the picture. And what we realized was, well, wait a minute, you know, this idea of garbage, right, it's, it's, it's very new. It doesn't exist in nature in any capacity. And moreover, in nature, one system's waste is like the most important raw material for another system. That's the whole sort of idea behind cradle to cradle. You know, a leaf falls off a tree, a, you know, maybe an animal eats it, or a fruit falls off a tree, an animal eats it, um, you know, animal dies in the forest, or we go camping and poop in the corner. All those end processes have a system that takes care of it. What's interesting in waste, and this goes to this whole question of separation that you'll see come up really soon, is that in the human system, we have fundamentally one solution. And we'll take out recycling for now, but we'll take the main solution, landfill. That's our one-stop solution for everything. If you look at the way nature deals with it, they have a different, it has a different solution for every type of waste. You know, a different animal, a different ecosystem will deal with every different input. So it's, it's almost like a custom-built solution for every different type of uh, waste out there. Now, the challenge in, in our system is we've created recently, I think maybe only 100, in the past 100 years, two things. Consumerism, we buy way more than, than we need, um, and complex polymers. Everything in this photo is complex. It doesn't exist naturally. It's you know, laminates, it's plastics, it's metals, all like mashed together to create these, uh, as, as Bill McDonough would say, monstrous hybrids. You know, these things that, while they may look simple, a cliff bar wrapper is a pretty you know, complex hybrid uh, from, from nature's perspective. So nature can't deal with it. And so we're in a situation right now where we're throwing all this out, and what are we fundamentally doing is we're creating garbage every single day by choosing to put it into a garbage can. And another way to look at waste, and this is the economic side, is that I happened to be in, you know, I was taking econ at the time, and we were drawing supply and demand curves all day long, so we, we drew out the supply and demand curve for garbage, and it's the only commodity that exists, the only material that intersects in the negative. In other words, we are consciously paying to get rid of it. That's another way to define waste. If you're not paying to get rid of it, then fun that it's not really garbage. It may just be a cheap material of some kind. So what we're doing is we're creating this concept, this idea, that doesn't exist in any natural system, which means it's not natural and non-sustainable, which is we're creating negative value around materials. It's the only, only in the human system does that exist. And so, just to sort of jump back to the story, and these happen to be the plants um, in, in the basement. Um, I came back to, and sorry that you just ate lunch or uh, breakfast. Um, I came back to Princeton, and I wanted to really make this worm poop thing a really big deal, so um, campaigned, and it took a lot of campaigning to get the